I'm Dan Gukin, author of these books on Word, and here's today's Word tip. Behold the Captions button. It dwells in the Captions group, on the References tab, in Microsoft Word. It's used to apply captions to figures, equations, and tables. As shown in another Word Tips video, the command affixes a caption to an object, which I recommend you group to keep them together. See the video for more details. The point of using the caption command, as opposed to manually creating a text box or other type of caption, is that you can build lists, which is what the other items in the captions group help achieve. In this document, you see three images, each of which is adorned with a word-generated caption, not my text box style caption covered in the other video, but an official word caption, nice and neat. I've grouped the captions with their images so that I can drag them around together, but you notice the numbering doesn't change. The captions don't automatically update or renumber themselves. Even the F9 keyboard shortcut doesn't work, which normally updates fields in a document, but here it's not working probably because the caption is contained in a box inside another box. The only way to update the number is to click within the caption box and select the number and then right click on that number, update field. And of course you have to do this again for the other item you've rearranged. This is kind of a pain. And you also need to do this if you're manually creating your captions, so it really makes you wonder... Why bother with Word's automatic captions anyway? Primarily because you can reference the caption, and you can insert a table of captions. To reference the caption, click the mouse where you want the reference to appear, right here. And I'm going to type, refer to the image nearby, comma, and I'm going to hop up to the references tab, Captions group, cross reference, the reference type is a figure. I'll pluck the specific figure from the list. Insert, close. The sentence is awkward, but you get the idea of how it works. Further, the reference is a link, which I can control click to view the image. As a tip, I recommend moving the image's anchor to the paragraph that references the image, where you've inserted the cross-reference. And this trick is nice, but keeping the image and paragraph together isn't really necessary when you have multiple cross-references around a document referring to the picture. Here, this is just the first reference, and it's the one I want to have on the same page as the image. There's your tip. And the second thing? The second thing is a table of figures. Set the cursor where you want the list to appear in the document. References tab, Captions group, Insert table of figures. Choose the style and stuff, and you know, these, these dialog boxes are fun, just like the table of contents one. Use the preview windows to see what it's going to look like, and when you're happy, or even if you're close, click OK, and there's the table listing the figures by reference, caption, and page number, all on one page here, and, and you get the idea. Miraculous. You can perform this same feat by attaching a caption to an equation or a table. You must use the captions command and apply it to the equation or table and then categorize the items according to the names found in the captions dialog box. These are the advantages of using words caption command. For more information, check out my books, especially the big one. <laughs>